Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be amazing because we are going to create a countdown clock in Blender 2.93 with the using of animation nodes and the render amazing animation. So let's start with me. But let's take a preview. Now I'm going here. Just look at this. We are going to create just like this our product. Okay, so how it's I created? So let's start with me. So let's open another Blender file. Click on the general, delete, shift A, add text. Okay, friend, and press R X 90 degrees. Let's go to press the numpad one. Okay, and let's do it. So, what we do now? Let's create an animation nodes. Go here, split into verticals, and go here, add an animation node. Click on the new. Now, the new animation node tree is ready. So, let's start with me. Press Shift A. First, we have we should have a text object output. So, text object output okay we need a text object output and shift a we need a float text float to text and another thing we need a shift a timer info and another thing so let's okay sorry so i forgot this let's Okay, okay. Animate float. Shift A. Animate float. So now it's ready here. So let's start with me. So let's create. Add the text here. So let's play. First, click on to this text float to text object output to result to the number and the last one is time but nothing is happening why just click on this dot okay so look at this this change into timer so when i press space nothing will happen why because we don't set a duration so let's start i value start value to i set the start value to zero and the end value to 10 so now look at this the time will start and stop at the 10 so, but here is duration is 20 frames per second. Okay. So, what we do now? But I want something new. So, end with this and start with 10. And now look at this. Go here. The countdown start. But there is a lot of zeros. What we do now? So, let's decrease the value of 0. Okay, okay, but I want only a number. So let's go here. Now it's perfect. Okay, when I set the minimum length to 1 and the decimals to 0. So now the, my timer is ready here. So the work of animation nodes are finished. So let's start and create an amazing texture. So what we do now, just go here here and geometry and add a depth extrude it little bit now just okay but it's still too fast Twenty-five. It's too still too fast. Take two hundred. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But the duration is two forty. Okay. 
I set the end frame value to 40. So now look at this. It's very very perfect because here is the value duration is 2 240 and the end frame value is 240. That must be equal to each other because we are going to create a clock. This is dependent on our frame. Okay. When I set the value to 120, means that 120, and here we send the value to 120 also, that it looking so good. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When it reached to 120, it may be 0. Okay, because the frames are equal. Okay, friends. So, I created this very, very good. But I want the frame to 240. Set the frame to 40. Now it's end for here, but not now. So, what work is left for us? So, go here, join the areas. Now, my counting numbers are ready, but another thing is making a wall like this. So, how to uh, how I create a wall like this? So, let's do it. How I create? So, first press H. I'm not deleting it, I'm just hiding this. Shift A, add a Brazier circle here. Shift A, raise the curve. Okay. And the brazier circle here. Look at this. Mm, it's looking perfect. Click on the extrude. Offset. The offset is still zero. Okay, it's good. Go to the depth and add the depth. Resolution is must be five. I increase the resolution here. Now it's looking good. Okay. smooth so press r x 90 degrees look at this it's looking perfect it's looking very very good but let's make a small like this set this to here small like this hmm it's looking perfect so what we do now press number one shift d and add another okay it's looking too good the both are looking good and good and good so okay press shift a add a cylinder here click on the cylinder add the vertices to 100 okay value is here down the value 15 press now pad 1 go here down the value and now look at this shift d down the value shift d duplicate this go here press r y 90 degrees now it's looking okay shift d now it's looking okay press shift a add a cube here okay now it's ready to be here go here and click on this shift d and click on this now it's ready so let's start and adding a circular circular animation like this look at this i am just adding a circular animation like this how i add this just look at this and just wait and watch okay just wait and watch go here Okay, offset is good, it's too good, it's also good. Mm. No. Okay. 
So let's create an animation. So how I create the animation? Set the send from 22. Press I, rotation and automatic go here. Okay. Set the value to 20 frames. 9. When I set the value to 9, okay. Set the value to 9, 20 frames and add the value to 60. 360 okay z value to 360 now okay 40 degree 720 one zero how much to 720 and 360 is 1080 1080 now it's looking too good 360 uh, again 360 okay again 360 is 1440 1440 okay friends 1440 one four four zero and now again three sixty is one four four zero again three sixty is two one six zero Again, 360 is 2130 is your, okay, 2520. And again, 360 is 2950. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 2850. Sorry. 286. Two eight eight zero, two eight eight zero, and the last one is one eighty. This is three. Okay. How much is this? It's to be three hundred. Sorry, three thousand one hundred eighty. 3000 2880 is going to be 3140. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think it's must be equal to increase, 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 increase this. Okay. Okay, now it's perfect. And the last one is 360 again and last time. 3, sorry. 360 again is going to be 336. 360. Three, 10 times. And the last one. It's not last one, okay? Last but not least, okay? So now it's going to be 3960. 3960. And the last and the last and the last is ta -da. And the last one is 4, four 2. Sorry, 360, 360 is going to be 0, 2, 3, 4. Okay, four three two zero. Now it's going to be okay, and now it's created. So let's click on this. Hmm. But the one second is let's go to the middle. So let's. Press H. 
like big okay press alt h come here now look at this oh sorry sorry alt h okay and now this is amazing okay friends so the clock is ready let's to be add a texture here so what texture we need it go here new a golden color black no sorry golden metallic roughness down roughness go here material Okay, so now it's ready. Our clock is ready. Let's face space. My clock is ready here. So friends, thank you to watch my video. And if you like this video, then please subscribe my channel. And if you have any problem regarding this, I know that my English is very bad. But please subscribe my channel and please support me to make this video again and again. And I want to create an amazing things in the blender. Okay, friends, so please support me and keep supporting me. Okay, thank you, friends, to watch my videos.